Welcome everybody, uh, my name is Jonathan Rodriguez and I am super excited to be working with you all today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about optimizing your cleaning website like the pros. So uh, just to get started here, uh, I'm just excited to be working with Amar and the Zenmade family and being in the company of the top minds in the cleaning industry. You know, this is my first time ever being asked to do this sort of thing on a public forum, so uh, please bear with me here. But uh, just a little bit about me. Uh, I've been an SEO consultant for so many years now, and uh, I've had hundreds of clients and been on thousands of calls all over the world teaching people how to do SEO and online marketing to their various types of businesses. Uh, literally from California to Africa to the outback of Australia, I've had clients pretty much everywhere. So, And funny enough, in 2012, I kind of accidentally started a cleaning company uh, here in Salt Lake City. So I gained a lot of knowledge about cleaning company SEO and marketing and, and how all that works and how to be able to really uh, get an edge on your competitors and get people to your website that are actually wanting to you know, get your services, you know, sooner rather than later. And so we'll be talking about that a little bit. Uh, I know some of you already previously from working on your cleaning businesses in the past, as well as on the Facebook groups. Uh, for those of you I don't know yet, you know, I'm just here to share my knowledge on SEO and my experiences with you today. Hopefully they'll be uh, exciting and you'll learn a lot and uh, let's get started. So what I want to talk about here first is, you know, how your website can make you money instead of just costing you money. You know, many people will make a website uh, that looks really pretty and they have, uh, you know, their business information on there about their company, contact information, a list of services, a bio about the owner, and a statement of how, you know, great of a job that they're going to do for the community. And so you may have invested $500 or $5,000 or even more for that matter uh, to get your website up and running and you're probably paying a monthly hosting fee or you have a, you know, a webmaster who's taking care of some things on an ongoing basis. You know, now you have a beautiful website and, and hopefully you have Zenmade integrated into it uh, to save you some time and money and also give your visitors a really good experience and a great way to book. You know, but now what? You know, uh, people can find you from word of mouth, uh, thumbtack, flyers, another type of paper lead provider, you know, perhaps. Maybe even list, list, list your website on Google. Uh, wouldn't it be great to recover that money uh, that you spent and then some? And so that's where we're going to start talking a little bit about SEO. I'm not sure if everybody knows what that is, but I'm sure a lot of you do. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, basically getting your website or your web page to the first page of Google. So when somebody Googles for it, especially in a local business, you will have you know the maps listings that come up and also the organic listings that come up. Above and below, you'll have the paid ads. Uh, that's a different talk. But uh, that's what SEO is and that's what you want because generally speaking when you have you know um, hundreds or even thousands of people looking you know every day or every month for your product you know, depending on what industry that you're in you want to show up there so you're able to get free targeted traffic to your site so uh, it would be great to be able to recover some of that money through using SEO now one of the first things you want to do if you haven't done this yet is go ahead and register your business on Google Yahoo and Bing. They all have their own local business directories. The most uh, effective and one that's used the most is the Google My Business or Google Maps as they've called it before uh, page. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and register on those three different ones. Fill out all the information including your address, the description, the categories, the service area, your photos, everything they ask for you want to go ahead and give it to them. You know, logo, all that stuff because I've learned over the years that when you give Google you know um, everything they ask for and then some hopefully you know they tend to favor you a little bit more so that's good and then what you want to do is optimize that information so you know you want to make sure that you talk about the list of list of services that you offer you know you want to put that in the description and there's also different places all over you know and Google's changing it all the time to be able to add in uh, you know additional information adding keywords in the right spots and things like that so if you do house cleaning and you focus on regular house cleaning and, and move out cleaning and deep cleaning and whatnot, make sure you add that information onto your page so Google can associate you know, your business with those particular keywords. Now, categories is really important. You want to make sure you choose the right categories. You know, in theory, you don't want to do it all because Google, you know, and I'm just going to refer to all the search engines today as Google to make it easier, but uh, Google will treat a house cleaning business and a commercial cleaning business 
and a carpet cleaning business and a window cleaning business as separate types of businesses in Google My Business, uh, Google Maps. Uh, and so the category that you add that into, Google's going to tie it into your website and say, okay, well, if this website, you know, is all about house cleaning and then, you know, and they're in the house cleaning category, but now all of a sudden they have, you know, window cleaning and carpet cleaning and commercial cleaning. Well, now it's kind of changing it up a little bit. They're still associating you with, with house cleaning. However, you know, since they're all treated as specialized businesses and separate, you know, it's really hard to be able to rank you know, in your area for all of these types of businesses. Uh, while they are all the same in a way, you know, they're under the same umbrella, it's kind of like comparing a plastic surgeon who is a doctor with a gastroenterologist who's a doctor. You know, they're, you're still a doctor, but uh, there's a different type of doctor. And so Google uses that to this category to determine, you know, what type of specialty you have. So unless you're in a small town, you know, where there's low competition, you really can't expect to rank you know, high in the search engines for those keywords, you know, um, all the time. So there are ways around it. There's ways to be able to start, you know, another website that's, you know, close to your address or maybe getting a new address or even there's other different techniques you can use depending on your market, depending on where you're at. And a lot of your competitors you may see show up for different things. And so that's what we want, definitely want to talk about today also, you know, is how to be able to outfox those competitors essentially by thinking like your customers. So that leads me to my second takeaway here and we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, service keywords. Now service keywords are important. Uh, basically what we want to do is we want to be able to identify what keywords people are searching for you know online related to your industry. Now today we're just going to go ahead and talk about the, the house cleaning keywords. You know, we have other keywords in janitorial, and we have other keywords in carpet cleaning and window cleaning and things like that. But for uh, for the sake of time to fit into this slot today, so you're able to move on to other really cool talks as well, we're going to be talking about house cleaning. So, you know, uh, what I call this is just simply something sim as simple as thinking outside the box. You know, what we want to do, if it's possible, is to rank your website in your city or your town or multiple cities for many keywords. You know, a lot of a lot of people, every company wants to rank their website for house cleaning and have that show up on the first page of Google or maid service or, or cleaning service. And these all generally have the highest searches by customers, but they also have the highest competition. So these keywords should always be your number one SEO goal for sure, because when you get up there for lots of these keywords, especially those high searched ones, you know, your website is turning into a lead generation machine. We're not worrying about Thumbtack or really Google Google ads so much anymore. Google ads are still great, you know, and you can use them to constantly get your call, your phone ringing in, in business, but they do cost, you know, a high dollar amount per click, depending on your area. There are, again, another talk, you know, on how to be able to get lower that cost and things like that. But the point is we want to make sure we get up there for the great keywords that have the best searches and things like that. So, you know, what we want to do is make sure we're able to outperform those competitors who may have started ahead of time or maybe thinking outside the box and using different keywords, you know, to optimize for. And so over time, I've been able to identify, you know, about 25 different residential cleaning keywords that people do search for. Now, some people may think, wow, there's people looking for 25 different types of cleaning keywords. Well, there actually are, you know, uh, and there's probably more out there that I haven't even found yet. But uh, there's actually a, a good uh, a good page here in ZenMade on about 45 keywords encompassing all different types of cleaning services. So you want to check that out too if you can. Uh, so yes, yes. Anyways, uh, depending on the size of your city, it depends on how many searches there are for these keywords. As examples of some of these keywords, you probably already know them. You're probably already doing these services already, and haven't really thought about adding them to your website. You know, there's a keywords like move out cleaning and green cleaning and Airbnb cleaning and real estate cleaning and make ready cleaning and many others. People actually go online and search for specific companies that do these specific things. And you may have thought, well, yeah, you know, it's a cleaning company, you know, uh, of course we do all these things, but Google or but people search peeps, bleh, searchers are looking for these types of services all the time. So uh, what you want to do, number one in this situation is you don't want to ignore that low hanging fruit. You know, you want to make sure that if someone's looking for an Airbnb cleaner and none, there aren't really many competitors in your, in your city or, you know, your area 
that have a web page about that on their site, you want to make sure you get it out there. That way you start getting all those calls. And you kind of take it, take a look at it as like, if there's a company A and company B and your company B. You know, company A may have been around longer than you, but company B, yours, you know, mentions all these different services, but company A doesn't. Someone who's going to visit both of your sites may say, well, this one just says house cleaning, but this one says, oh, the exact service I'm looking for. So that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that we're able to list those services at the very least. You want to make pages on those services if you can. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. And be able to get that going and, um, and helping you get calls you know, quicker. Because it does take a little bit more time to be able to get your website on that first page of Google for the big keywords, the house cleaning keywords, you know, the, the maid service keywords, because of the competition and the age of some of your competitors. So keep that in mind there, that this is a good way to be able to get more clients to your site much faster looking for the exact services that they want. So definitely lift your, list your services on your website. Um, and then uh, as an example of some of this here, just in my own personal experience, when I first started in 2012, uh, working uh, with this with my cleaning company, I just kind of started on a whim. That's again another time, another talk for that. And uh, you know, I you know, I was in charge of making the phone ring and making all this happen because I did a full time SEO job working for another company. And uh, you know, it came about that we we're going to start this cleaning company, and I was you know I went ahead and built the website and we did it all in a shoestring, and. Um, you know, I wanted to optimize the site for, of course, the major keywords, but I knew that was going to take some time because there were people who've been, you know, in the market much longer. You know, I think they probably didn't have, you know, a professional SEO person from day one. So I figured, okay, I can give myself, you know, some months, you know, to be able to get to that page one for those major keywords. But I want money now because I don't want people to start losing their momentum here. I had one person answering the phones and doing scheduling. Another person, you know, ran the crew and had the cleaning experience. You know, I was just the SEO web website guy. So I went ahead and optimized for move out cleaning and I think it was apartment cleaning in the beginning uh, on those other pages. And about two weeks later, our phone started to ring, thank God, because I was really worried that this, my little theory wasn't gonna work, but it did, luckily. Uh, and so we started getting calls for move outs. And the reason why I did move outs is because I knew they were higher dollar um, jobs versus, you know, just regular cleaning. And so we were able to get some checks, you know, after our costs, split it three ways, it was real great. And, you know, that led me to understand that there are more keywords out there that people do search for. And so I started searching for those keywords to figure out, okay, if these people are looking for move outs and they're finding us pretty much over our competitors at this point, you know, what else are they looking for? So um, that leads me to my third takeaway, which is actually pretty interesting. And I hope that uh, you'll find it interesting as well. How a single keyword added more than $5,000 a month to my own cleaning business without even trying. So one day we received a call from a billionaire. That billionaire uh, is the owner of Under Armour. And I'm, his, his people may have called, I'm not sure. I didn't answer the phone, but you know, he needed uh, remodeling and post-construction cleaning performed on his penthouse apartment in the ski town of Park City, Utah, where we're based, funny enough. Um, you know, how did he find us? Well, you know, I optimized part of my site for post-construction cleaning in Salt Lake City. And the reason I did that is because someone had previously called maybe about a month or so before and asked if we did that. And we're like, oh yeah, yeah, we totally do that. And still kind of not really knowing what we were doing uh, at that point. Uh, and so we did a post-construction cleaning job. It was really good and it was really good money. You know, I think it was like, you know, thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars. It was a big check. And so we're like, hey, this is pretty good. I'm going to get on this and, and optimize this page for post-construction cleaning in Salt Lake City. Uh, and it worked out pretty well because, you know, the, the client was happy. He didn't really need to negotiate, which was awesome. Uh, so I think we charged him about thirty five hundred dollars for that. Beautiful, beautiful uh, penthouse apartment at the top of the Montage in Park City, Utah. Uh, Park City, if you're not sure, familiar with that area, it's basically um, a very uh, nice area up in the mountains in Park City, or up in the mountains of Utah, and the Sundance Film Festival is held there every year. So a lot of people have second homes and things like that up there too, which is cool because some people we did post-construction cleaning for, you know, when they remodeled something or they got bored of their kitchen or whatever it was, you know, uh, we were able to go ahead and do recurring cleanings for them as well. So it's a great way to be able to get in with the owner too, to get, you know, uh, residual cleaning on that. So we liked it a lot. Um, you know, and that job led to more jobs with other contractors working on, or with that contractor working on other projects. 
And at the same time, other builders and other owners were calling us pretty much on a weekly basis. You know, next thing you know, we're doing a lot of these high dollar jobs, you know, new homes, tracked homes, condos, restaurants, even, you know, a brand new Audi dealership, which was really cool. So once you do a good job for the contractor once, generally, or even the, you know, the, you know, the, the house cleaner or the person that you're uh, just doing regular house cleaning for, you know, they tend to call you again and again for their next projects so or they do referrals and things like that. So we ended up having to turn away business just from this one page on the website that a lot that my competitors really had not optimized for. You know, fortunately, I did that. Uh, still to this day, it's on the first page of Google, even though I no longer, you know, um, run that business. Uh, but it's still there, and uh, it's uh, it's good if you do it right because you're able to kind of constantly, you're able to put the money out there, put the time out there get the site optimized and it constantly comes in like a little cash machine. So that's kind of fun. My point to all this is that if we'd only focused on house cleaning, we would have missed this opportunity, you know, which would have ended up, ended up costing us money, you know, and missed out on an entirely new lucrative niche within our market. And you know, that was just one keyword, you know, uh, in one city. Imagine what you can do with multiple service keywords in one or many cities. You know, your growth in this industry is you know regarding your website and having it make money for you and, and SEO really is limited by your ambition and the resources that you put back into the business you know and so another keyword that's a great example is uh, real estate cleaning you know a lot of realtors need you know they may want to sell they may you know want to sell a house and they're going to do an open house but they want to make sure this thing is sparkling clean so they will call they will google for open house cleaning or real estate cleaning and, and other related keywords and uh and get you to you know get the, the company your company to uh, to clean the house and they have multiple houses you know realtors usually and they have their own house or houses that they need clean they also know all these other realtors and can refer you so it's a great way to be able to uh, I mean also the, the owner of the, of the house you do the open house cleaning for may need it kept up until it sells so that's also a great way to be able to spread out and uh, and get lots of referrals and get recurring business on a keyword you probably never really thought of. Now again, it just depends on how many people are in your city. You know, if you have a small town somewhere, you know, and you're just doing, you know, cleaning locally and things like that, you may not be, you know, receiving lots of, you know, searches or lots of hits for those keywords, but many of you are near major metropolitan areas or, you know, you have an area that has, you know, 300,000 people and you're good with that and people will be looking for these keywords. And the beauty part is, the smaller the town, the lower the people, the lower the competition of people actually looking for or optimizing for, you know, um, these types of keywords. So it's kind of a, a good win very quickly. So uh, basically, you know, uh, with that point, you know, we got to talk about, you know, is this worth it for you to consider doing SEO on your own, learning on your own, or finding somebody else to do it for you? So we've talked about you know how your website can make you money instead of just cost you money. We talked about how you can outfox your competitors by thinking like your customers, i.e., what are your customers typing in? You know, you want to make sure you optimize for those so you show up on the first page. And also how that single keyword made more than five thousand dollars a month each and every month to my cleaning business without even trying. So to determine if SEO may be a good investment for you, let's go ahead and crunch the numbers real quick. Let's say you have a business in Los Angeles, California, uh, and there are 3,000 online searches each and every month for house cleaning, maid service, and other related keywords you know that you that you service. You know the profit from each of that each of those services depends on you. You know you set that. Uh, how many clients would you need it to be worth your while? Would you need five new clients a month? You know, 10 new clients a month, 20 new clients a month. Um, even if you received 10%. Of those 3,000 searches that hit your website, that's about 300. That's 300 extra website visitors hitting your site, you know, looking for your services. And if only 10% of those website visitors, which is about 30, actually became brand new customers each and every month, that's really, really good. You get the idea. You know, the average house cleaning customer value just for house cleaning, you know, the the recurring cleaning, you know, is about $300 a month from what I remember. Uh, so you have 30 people at $300 a month, that's a potential $9,000 a month, you know, and that's a growth rate too, because you have, you know, those same 3,000 people or three, the same 30 people, for example, you know, taking up your services, 
uh, each and every month, you're growing and growing and growing and growing and adding to all of that, provided you, you know, do a great job and they like your price point and things like that. You know, this isn't a guarantee or anything, so keep that in mind. Now, if you live in a town with a quarter of that search volume, you know, SEO is still well worth your time to pursue because that could be an extra new $2,250 a month. Uh, you know, coming in there. So it's pretty much a no-brainer that you want to be able to get SEO on your site, whether you do it on your own or take courses or whatever it is, or you hire a professional to get the job done, you know, quicker. You know, and that is something that, you know, you want to discuss with, you know, an experienced consultant. You know, you can already stand the lucrative power of ranking in the search engines for your money-making keywords, you know, and some of you have other businesses as well. And this theory you know, well, SEO works in general, but, you know, the theory about finding new additional keywords that people are searching for, you know, works for pretty much all businesses that I've seen, you know, in cleaning as well as others. I see some of you have, you know, pest control businesses and have day spas and some of you have, you know, uh, like uh, bounce house rentals and all kinds of things, which is cool. So the technique works for, you know, pretty much everything, you know, and that's when you want to have someone looking at that and, and doing that research for you and kind of giving you, hey, this is the this is the skinny on all of this. So um, keep that in mind there. And uh, you probably receive calls all day long already from salespeople saying that they're with Google or they're going to do your SEO, but they don't explain what they're going to do for you. You know, they don't go on, you know, to think outside the box and, and about your specific business and say, hey, let's strategize. You know, this is really cool. I'm into it. You know, I get we can do this, this and this for you. You know, they're just going to quote you, oh, $1,500 a month, you know, this is why you need this and this and that. And, you know, I've gotten calls forever. I still get calls to this day for, from SEO people. And I kind of laugh about it because it's really just salespeople, you know, trying to get make a sale. And that's why they quote these huge numbers to see how much money you have, you know, and really that's not, that's not okay, you know, especially in this business, you know, we don't have, you know, $2,000 a month SEO budgets a lot, unless you're a big company and you really want to dominate your area. Um, if you do, you know, um, obviously it's a lot of work, but, uh, you know, that's something you want to talk to your, your people about. Now, all this, when people are calling you, they're not even coming up, coming up with a strategy, you know, and they're really just kind of selling you air. What you want is really to have, you know, something tangible that you can look at and say, hey, I see this website's growing, or I see we are growing everywhere, or I'm seeing the reports where we're up and up and up. This is wonderful. You know, you want someone as a consultant to solve problems, you know, to adapt to changes and identify opportunities for you. Uh, if you're looking to grow in your area, you know, they help you with that or it helps with landing page conversion. And you want somebody who's or a company who is easily uh, available to help and will basically tell you the truth and not just you know take your money um, and won't let you down. You know, uh, myself and the company I partner with recently are we are available to help. You know, if you are looking to achieve success you know at a price that fits into your budget you know not only do we all have years and years of experience in the SEO world but the company I'm working par partner with now you know has resources that a lot of companies in SEO don't possess uh, you know not only is it the skill and the ability to think outside the box but also resources in terms of link building and that's a big part of SEO also you know it's not just the on-page stuff you know, you want to make sure that you have, you know, citations that are all correct all over the internet, but also someone who's going to be able to build effective links pointing toward your site. And that's kind of like a vote for your website. So if company A has been around for 10 years, you know, and they have 30 links from other places on the internet, from blogs around the area or from news organizations have done a story about you or from cleaning for a reason or something like that which a lot of you are on that's really noble for sure we, we did cleaning for a reason as well you know that's a vote for your website in Google's eyes and Google has about 200 different ranking factors to get to determine which websites are most relevant in the cleaning and or in, in, in any industry to get them on the first page of Google and so that resource that network that to be able to build effective backlinks is really key to all of this you know is to be able to get you in the maps you know uh, high in uh, the organic searches for those major keywords as well as some of these other low-hanging fruit keywords because you know you can build a page and you know just put it out there but if it's not optimized if links aren't pointing back to that page it's kind of dead in the water so you definitely need help uh, with that if unless you want to learn again you know SEO 
So, uh, you know, with that being said here, I'm going to go ahead and put out a special offer for you folks uh, today to see if you are interested in having somebody who is experienced in the industry, who has the resources to back it up, who can provide you reports you know, on a monthly basis to show you where you're going and help be there as a consultant, you know, to have with when you have other ideas or you want to go in a different direction or you want to add additional services or you want to break into a different market, things like that. That's all kind of included with all of this. And so I'd like to go ahead and just talk to you about that. Basically, uh, let's go ahead and start number three, actually, because I think I kind of maybe put this in the wrong spot. Again, this is my first time, so bear with me with all this. Uh, what I like to offer everybody, you know, is a free one-on-one -on -one consultation. Uh, really to determine, you know, are you, is this a good fit? You know, if you have a budget, you know, marketing budget, and you're, you're serious about this and you want this consultation, I like to be able to talk to you and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm on your website right now. I see, you know, your competition. I see your market here. I see what's been, what's been done to the site, you know, um, and we can determine, has anything been done yet at all? You know, are we starting from zero? Are we starting with, you know, a broken address with all kinds of different things? And that's where you have that problem solver coming in here and just helping you say, okay, this is the roadmap. This is where we're at. You know, um, let's, let's dig into this. You know, let's see what we can do. Um, also, you know, people have had SEO performed in the past, you know, and have paid money and maybe feel a little bit burned about it. You know, th this world, this SEO online marketing world has some great people in it, but also has some lazy people in it who don't know what they're doing. Um, that will charge you, you know, huge amounts of money to do nothing and, you know, small amounts of money to do nothing. <laughs> so, uh, you know, what you can also do is look into that and see what's been done. Has anything been done at all? Um, and if something has been done, has it been done correctly? So if you have even somebody now you're working with, you may not be happy with, within minutes, I can look at your site and say, oh, you know, this person has been doing this, you know, good job. I don't think you really need much or this person has done nothing. <laughs> so we want to look at that. Um, I'm happy to talk to anybody up for, up to, you know, for up to an hour uh, to advise you and solve problems and help grow, you know, a plan unique to your business. You know, uh, with that being said, if you decide that you want to work uh, with me, you know, I'll offer no setup fees for this. You know, most experienced SEO companies have fixed upfront costs to onboard new clients. So we'll waive and absorb any of those costs. You can hit the ground running. You know, I want to make sure everybody succeeds. I mean, I really love cleaning company SEO. I know that sounds really strange, but I like it. I'm into it. It's how my brain works. You know, and everybody I meet, whether they have this a cleaning business or not, I'm always like, hey, you know, like, here's my, you know, I don't even give my card. I'm like, you know, this is what I do, blah, blah, blah. Do you have your Google Maps up yet? You know, it's really just something that I'm really passionate about. So it's cool. And if we decide we, we're a good fit together, you know, I'm offering discounted packages just for ZenMade attendees, you know, to fit your budget, to fit your growth rate. We all kind of start somewhere, you know, there's obviously you know, an area where we need to start at in the beginning. But, you know, I, I certainly... Uh, can attest that, you know, we're not going to be charging, you know, huge amounts of money or anywhere near those numbers we talked about before where these salespeople will call and say, oh, you know, it's $1,500 and blah, 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 and this is why you need it. You know, we need to fit where you're at, you know, at that moment and if, you know, to be able for you to reinvest and grow. So all SEO will actually be performed by me. So you'll know it'll, be, it'll get done right, you know, with one of the most experienced leaders in the cleaning company SEO industry. You know, and I've had lots of experience in other niches as well. This is one that just I, I have a love for, <laughs> as strange as that sounds. So I'm really, uh, you know, willing to help anybody out who needs it. Um, again, you know, you'd want a marketing budget of some sort to be able to consider some of these things. But uh, I do have, you know, a free giveaway also to where if you don't have, you know, a budget, you know, um, I'm giving away a couple of free calls to be able to talk to people to say, hey, this is what you need to do and get started. Now, there's many other way smarter people, you know, on, um, you know, in some of this, in, in some of these talks that we have today in different industries, I am sure you've heard their names before, you know, that will help you, you know, uh, work on, you know, those sorts of things to be able to run your cleaning company right. And that's great. So definitely check out a lot of those people. A lot of these people I actually know. And I haven't seen them speak yet. So I'm actually really excited to go ahead and dig into that. So feel free to go ahead and go back and check out some of these other uh, talks. And uh, below there should be a link. You'll be emailed a link that will give you a link to the free one-on-one -on -one consultation. Let's talk, chat it out, and see if we're a good fit. All right, thank you very much for your time. Oh, by the way, that link is going to go here. And it's just going to be a link that you can fill out your information. So I can go ahead and give you a call back to see if you want 
you know, what industry that you're in, how long you've been in business, that we know a little bit more about you, and if you want that free call and stuff or not. No pressure, you're not gonna have salespeople call you, it's basically just gonna be me contacting you. So, thank you very much for your time, appreciate it, take care and have a great day.